Bistro Vibes. It's good evening, man. It's a good heat and vibes. And for everyone, man, for subs that to do it, man. People wouldn't know about Jesus and his fans, his followers. People would know him, man. People wouldn't know about what he lives like and how he is and what he can say about the music industry and the music of South Sudan. And in general, about DNA, man. What's up, Genesis? Yeah, cool, bro. I really appreciate it. Uh, welcome to the show, man. Yeah, welcome to the show. People want to know about your music, bro. People want to know about you, the flag, the religion, and DNA, and what it means by that, man. People want to know about you. What do you say about music? Yeah, I appreciate the best of life, you know. Mm -hmm. We got the vibe right here. Yeah. Welcome to my whole DNA, you know. Yeah, black and blue DNA. <coughs> so, I go by the name Dennis Angel, uh, yeah. living artist at the same time, a rapper's house, the name, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm also a part, you know. Do fashion and a lot of shit. So about my music, you know, it's kind of journey. I started wearing back in 2007, yeah. but because the law was still on the law, uh, I didn't make it where I work. Because I, I used to be, you know, a dancer at the same time, wow. entertainment, prefix, you know, the school I used to be when I was a little kid. Oh, that's good. So you made you started music in 2007. Yeah, yeah. That's a while ago. A while ago. That's a while ago. So it has been a struggle, you know, until I make my first song. Uh, to start recording in 2009, you know, because I got mentored by Tupac Shakur and Moto Tigre. Uh, so, uh, and the type of music I do, I do hip hop rap. That's very right, that's uh, right. I do cent uh, centric raps, you know, aggressive, hard revolutionary, you know, and uh, uh, poetic raps. So, it's all about rap. So, about my music and the DNA, you know, uh, DNA is a, is a label, you know. We sign the record label, yeah. and I got a group called Steam G. So my friend they know about it. So we in DNA we're doing good, and DNA talk about us Africans. So yeah. it's a generalization of promoting talent, that the vision, wow. and mapping back African uh, pride to the world map, and showing the world the, the talent we got as African, and to let the world people know about us, and also people like Arabs who are in the So we kind of you know we're fighting for the uh, uh, talent and. <coughs> And, and the goodness of new, new, new Africa in the 21st century. So yeah, that's right. all about black revolution, DNA. Right. So it's for uh, for different ways, you know. We have different ways. But I'm not gonna bore you much to tell you more about it. Mm -hmm. But we got Congolese, we got Uganda, we got Tanzania, we got you know. As a part of black revolution, yeah. Of, yeah, part yeah. of black revolution. Uh, I got homies from different ways. We GMC, uh, the rapper Mike Daniel, yeah. you know Peter. The oh, yeah. that's family of black revolution. And I also got my homies back yeah, home. I I got the Tyler the Don, you know, ride with me. I got Chris Nara, yeah. uh, South Sudanese. Yeah. I got a lot of homies from South Sudan. I got Data B. I got Idi Idi Shaku, King Idi Shaku, and I also got DME, my little rapper. So that's all about uh, DME. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. As you can see, man, people, people, some of your fans, man, they would like to see you on stage most of the time. And, and these people you're mentioning, and these people who are with you, they're living with you, man. They, they got you. As, as you can say, man, yeah. people you can mention, that people you think they are with. You, yeah. back to back man what are your dreams about your music and where do you want to take it then as a as you can tell right in south Sudan and yeah. as a young nation and people living with these dreams what can you tell them the yeah. fans? Uh, what i can tell my friend and my fellow brothers who mm. do music you know yeah. all i can say is you know being positive you know love what you're doing and uh, also never give up despite what you're going through but yeah. all i know is that uh soon you know i'm gonna make my shit to the whole world you know, I'm 25 for the uh, for the chance of South Sudanese, a yeah. uh, nation, you know. Mm -hmm. And with my brothers who also in the game, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do this together. That's right. It's hard for us, mm -hmm. but I believe where we got the fan support, our home support, mm -hmm. then where we can make it outside. Because I believe all South Sudanese are talented. All the artists, all the dancers, our fans, they're all good. But it, they just need us, you know, to do good, yeah. that's what I can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the that's what I can say. That's and also about uh, the music, uh, kind of music in general, we do, you know, we do hip hop. Yeah. What I can tell my brothers, my fellow brothers who do hip hop, yeah. you know, we got critics, people who, who are like hypocrites, you know, they hate us, they're trying to describe whatever we do. So, what I can say is keep your head up. But as to my brother who do music, whether dancer, uh, hip hop, pop, yeah. reggae, afro, please let's leave uh, copying people's style. Yeah. Let's be ourselves. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's be original one more time. Let's be original one more time, and we can make it. Yeah. Let's not let's not be ruined by people with judges. You know, let's just be hard because I believe be South yourselves. Sudan. Yeah, South Sudan is a big nation. It's a rich nation in Africa. So, and at the same time, we're talented. So I believe uh, a couple of times it's gonna take us long, but we shall make it. So let's just be, uh, you know, real 
and shout out to my brother, you know, uh, uh, John Frog, who made it, you know, with Wasafi. That is the move that what we want, man. And I believe we got Wasafi a lot of record? People. Yeah, Wasafi record. Now yeah, it's, it's making it. move right. It means South Sudan is going up, you know. Mm -hmm. I believe in that. And That's to my right. homies in hip hop, I appreciate Robbie Keezy. Do it good. I said you gotta do good. Lucy K do good. Young Pimo do good. Uh, uh, Kushki do good, you know. And my nigga MC, you know, MC Ricky Rae is the baddest dropper right here. And we're keeping it hard, bro. We're taking South Sudan to another level. That's what yeah, I'm saying. I know that boy, man. Yeah. That, boy, yeah. that boy can make it fly. It's so hard, yeah, I believe. Nah, no, man. Since we're in the neighborhood of Black Boy Fly and everything yeah. is going to be flying, yeah. what did you say? Like, when did it come to that time, South Sudan and yeah. make it out? And since we are outside yeah. in our country, yeah. we, are striving, we are trying to make both ends meet and all that stuff, man. I want to talk about yourself. So say your fans can get what you're trying to say, what you do, what you sing for, and what you do. Which people do you think listen to your music? Yeah, yeah, you know, <clears throat> you know, South Sudan is a, a is a country with uh, forty one tribes. Good. Uh, and those uh, for, uh, no six or four tribes. So yeah, man, I thought six or four, six or four tribes. Yeah, yeah. So six or four tribes. Uh, we, we need to all reach them, you know. How we reach them, we need to think in either Arabic or English. Yeah. Something that will, you know, unite us and make us win. So, but me, uh, I'm not good at Arabic, you know. I don't speak Arabic, but I'm good at doing it in English. And, Come on, man. Uh, yeah, the that's country, a little you know, shit. Yeah. We are this country. Yeah. I want to make our music market to the whole world also to listen to us. Yeah. So, uh, my music is kind of revolutionary. Uh, I speak reality and facts and message. So, but, you know, all the teenagers of my age, maybe you will listen to my music. Yeah, that's but my music has a, a point that when the elder listen to it can also find something good from us. And likewise to my fellow rappers because most of them rap about reality. Yeah. So what I can tell my fan outside there is support us despite how you see us not doing good. Support us. The more you support us, the more we do good. So that's what I can say about people who think maybe I got haters. I ain't got haters, bro. Uh, you know, I, ain't I got was about to come to that question actually, yeah, I but I wanted, I wanted to ask you. But first of all, I wanted to talk about the, the video you did and, yeah. and what it is that you do every day and how, why did you choose to do it in the country instead of you stay here, you spend like almost the whole year you spend it in Uganda and yeah. like, in most cases maybe you go to other neighboring countries like yeah. Kenya and we move around and yeah, yeah so uh, we all know that. Like yeah. people who do who see your music, who see your moves yeah. on Facebook, we follow you on Twitter, yeah, yeah, yeah. on Instagram, and we see your moves and how great you're moving. And yeah. these things are so amazing, man. We see some fantastic places you go to, but you chose to do it in South Sudan. What yeah. was it all about? Yeah. What did you what did you want to share? I really appreciate it. You, know, mm -hmm. you see, my song, uh, my song every day, mm -hmm. uh, is kind of song which uh, we talk about me and my girlfriend, mm -hmm. and that about you and your girlfriend. About people who you know be like girls, bringing yeah. you down at the yeah. same time. Yeah, so but I, I didn't get it. I didn't get anything actually. So, uh, God, yeah. Every day is like I do love my God every day. Okay, wow. Well, you know, I do every day. I do love, I love my every day. Too, yeah. But on the other side, we got positive vibe and negative vibe with the love. So let's leave that shit. Uh, why I had stuff? Uh, you know, has me about Please, why Cuba, I did it in Cuba. The country, man. Uh, the and I've yeah, been in Uganda, Ukraine, a lot of places, right? And I didn't do my shit. It's because, you know, uh, despite how, how good you may be in the world, and uh, uh, at the end of the day, you always say home sweet home. From yeah. east to west, and uh, to south. Yeah. You have to tell the whole world of where you come from, you know. Yeah. So, so they see the video. South they and, uh, see the video. And the first time to do something for myself, because this is my first video ever done. Yeah. So I was like, it's okay. good, it's the right time to portray the beauty of my country mm -hmm. to the whole world. Yeah. So that whoever know me, because I had friends from different countries, mm -hmm. but they don't know how beautiful is my country. Yeah. They don't know how, how beautiful is my place. Yeah. So, but when I make a, a, a everyday video in Juba, it just give a good view that my country will look so fucking good, you know? Yeah. And it's beautiful. We got a basketball We got a basketball court. We got a nice we got international airport. We got some We got some yeah, 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 shit. So I do it for the love of my own country. Yeah. And to let the whole world know about my city. Yeah. As I'm going to do more. I'll do them anywhere right now. But because my start, yeah, I have to first. show them. Because I was born home. Yeah, and I want to show people where I came from is where my success should start. Yeah, yeah. So my video going back to you right there is telling you that you're not living in a fake place, you're yeah. in Juba City. Yeah. And Juba City is a big city. Yeah. And though one didn't know that, Juba City is beautiful. So to my brothers, don't leave home and think you're gonna look good somewhere. Make it out outside, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. We make it good back home, and that's why I chose that. So whoever who have been hacking himself or herself about what I did at home, it's for the love. I got love for my home. I got love Long for time. my country. I got love for my country city, and that's why I can say big out of yourself. I appreciate it, bro.
that's nice. That's nice. As you, as you, you talked about where your success should start from and yeah. where you think why you did your video in South Sudan. We get it quite clear that now you did it in South Sudan for the sake of the starting ground. That is, as the foundation of you, what do you say about your name, Genesis now? Yeah, you know, my name means beginning and the end, yo. Like, we all know that. I'm called Genesis Angel Revolution to someone who ain't no by me. Yeah. But my old days one home is not that I'm called Revolution. Mm -hmm. So it means I'm the beginning and the end, you know, which is game, right? The game, yeah. So in this game, right, I've been struggling the way back. Nobody failed to realize that I can do it. Yeah. So, but today, I did it. And you believe that, yo, I did it. We so, it. And it's because we're together, I and you ride together. So my name portray the reality. My name is Lai. Everybody believe in God. So I did love to be like so lunatic to, to call myself a gang and street shit. Nah, that's not what I do. So I still believe that God, God loves us and my name portray who I am. My real name is Genesis. Revolution is my second name I choose. And then Angel is the name that yo, them bitches call me that. Yeah, yeah them bitches call me that. So I bring them together. Genesis Angel of Revolution. Okay, can you also can you also say that to us? Why do you think that girls call me Angel? Can you say about something to them? About? Yeah, you know what it is, man. Me, I'm so fucking dead old, oh, man. Like, uh, niggas, niggas thinks maybe I look, I, I, I look young, but yeah. in reality, man, I'm so old. So them girls be like, yo, you look like Angel, you look like a girl, bro. You don't, you don't grow old. Yeah, I don't grow I mean, old. I'm ever there, there man. Ever okay. there, man. I'm ever there, bro. Yeah. So, <laughs> so God, them girls say, yo, you, but you, you the Angel, man, because you always look young, man, you but. Keep it every day. Matter of fact, man, I'm so old. I'm so damn old. That's what I can tell my homies when over me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In age, I'm talking old. But when you look at me, Chris, like, you may think this is a kid. But now, I'm yeah. not a kid. And that's where my name. That's why bitches, they call me, you know. They call me Angel. 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 Back then, they call me Goddamn Sugar because uh, I'm, I'm not a dancer like this, yo. So, I quit those names. But people who knew me before, they used to call me Goddamn Sugar, you know. Goddamn Sugar, kill kid. But I did love to do that. Because I'm a gangster guy. Mentored by Tupac Shiku, uh, they call me, la, you know, they call me Thug Lord. Wow. You know, I've been on the street all the time, you know, rock with my kids, yeah, doing yeah. shit, a real game. So, so they call me Thug Lord, and uh, I got the, I got the love, I, I got the work of hip hop move no sin. Y'all niggas need to know about it. Why hip hop move no sin? You niggas see like a word, but it's not a word. It means a lot of shit. Hip hop move no sin because if I rap today, I rap about you. I'm not meaning that, yo, I hate you. Yeah. So I ain't no, I ain't doing no sin, right? Yeah. I ain't doing no sin because. It's, it's a culture of hip-hop. So to me, I name it like hip-hop, move no scene. Hip-hop, we talk about...